Hello guys, it's Johnny Tan and welcome to another Decentralized Finance Tutorial. Today we're gonna learn about the most, one of the most important tools when doing DeFi and crypto analysis in the DeFi space and mastering this tool might make you better investor and better farmer. And of course this tool is called DeFi Llama, so this video will be dedicated to this tool. It will be a complete tutorial of how to read the data on DeFi, DeFi Llama and how to analyze the different blockchains and DeFi protocols or uh, anything related to DeFi using DeFi Llama. So we'll walk through all the DeFi Llama uh, different features and information it provides us and see how we can find opportunities in DeFi and blockchain. So if it's interesting for you and if you like this content, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell notification button. So anytime I post this kind of educational videos, you can learn and become DeFi masters with me. Also, you can join my new Discord community, Johnny Time. I will put a link in the description below. We have different different channels there where we discuss about uh, potential investments. Uh, if you want to uh, recommend me or suggest me to make a video about the protocol, you just uh, stumbled upon you can write here in suggestions we have general chat support farms and pools stable coins nfts metaverse a lot of different cool things so make sure to join i will be very active there just come and let's discuss about cool things about DeFi and crypto now let's get started with DeFi llama this is the website defi and it, it's incredible website this is the overview the main page where you can see the tvl of all the different protocols around all the blockchains you can see it right now the tvl is 260 billion dollars which is a lot you can see the change in 24 hours if it went up or, or down and this is the charts where you can see that as the trend is going up more and more uh, value is being locked in DeFi protocols and this is super super interesting data where you can uh, take a look and analyze now you can see the tvl ra ranking in terms of uh, DeFi protocols you can also filter by blockchains uh, let's take a look at all and you can see that the, the top of the list is Curve. The, you can see every protocol, what kind of blockchains it, uh, it's available on. And you can see the one day change, seven day change. And again, it's not in terms of the price of the token or something, but just in terms of TVL. TVL stands for total value lock, which means how much money is being locked in the protocol smart contracts. And this is basically can tell you how people trust the protocol and how many people are actually using it and this is another cool ratio which is the market cap divided by tvl this is uh, the market cap of the curve token divided by the tvl so the lower this number is it means that uh, basically people are more using the protocol and the price is not and it's not being reflected on the price because if the market cap is low and the tvl is high this number is supposed to be that so supposed to be small and it means that the, a lot of people are using this protocol but the price is not that high and so this is the, the market cap divided by TVL rate. So you can see Curve, then we have MakerDAO, Convex, Aave, RabbitDC, and PancakeSwap somewhere here on the 12th place. We have SushiSwap, Anchor, Uniswap, etc. So this is super cool. And you can understand also which protocols on which blockchains they exist here on the chain stub. So you can see that SushiSwap is one of the biggest cross-chain protocols that exist in almost all the block different blockchains, which is super cool. And another cool thing that I like to look at is the chain. So look at the, um, the dominance of a certain blockchain, which blockchain has more TVL, where money is moving. And you can see it right now the top one is on ethereum so it has more than 300 protocols and the tvl is 171 billion dollars and after that we have binance smart chain then we have terra you can see also the seven day chain so we can definitely see the correlation between the tvl change to the price because luna went up significantly and you can see also that the tvl was went up which means that a lot of people uh, bridge tokens into Terra Luna bridge assets to Terra Luna 13% more just in the last seven day. You can see right after Luna we have Avalanche, Solana, Tron, Matic, Phantom, etc. So this is the ranking based on blockchains. Now another cool thing that I like, I will skip on portfolio because I'm not using, I'm just uh, gonna show you the, the features that I'm using. Uh, another cool thing is airdrop. So this is, this is basically a page that shows you different protocols that might 
do that may do an airdrop so maybe you want to consider using these protocols you can see which chain for example TerraSwap on Terra they might do an airdrop DeFi Saver on Ethereum, Quarry on Solana so these are just uh, opportunities that you can explore maybe you want to try out these protocols if they in case they do uh, airdrop in the future like ENS made an airdrop like I earned if you didn't watch my video about ENS check out I will put link in the description below and like I was lucky and I registered my domain and just two weeks after I got $10,000 present in terms of ENS uh, governance tokens. So this is potential airdrops. Another cool thing is the comparison. So you can compare protocols. Let's compare, for example, PancakeSwap to uh, OHM, which is Olympus DAO. <coughs> And you can see right now that the cake price with market cap divided to TVL, the rate that we saw before, supposed to be $91, which is 7.5x more than it is right now in terms because the TVL in Punk Swap is 7.9, 7.5x more than Olympic Dow. And this is uh, just some kind of a uh, comparison based on this kind of uh, um, market cap slash TVL. Uh, data. So another very very cool thing is that I like to do is to see which kind of protocols we have inside blockchain. For example, if we go to Avalanche, for example, you can go into a specific chain and see what are the biggest protocols. So this is a TVL on Avalanche. You can see how it's growing, and you can see what are the biggest. Uh, DeFi protocols that have the most amount of TVL. So you can see that on top we have Aave protocol, which is a uh, lending. Um, uh, it's sorry. We have Aave, uh, which is lending protocol on uh, multiple chains right now. Exists on Ethereum, Avalanche, and Polygon. And this is the biggest TVL is on uh, Aave. Then we have Trader Joe, which is the biggest decentralized exchange on Avalanche. So this is a very good way to get started to know with a new chain. Let's say you want to get started with Avalanche and you don't know what kind of protocols, where there is liquidity, what kind of different. Uh, features they have so you can take a look at and then try to research about Trader Joe, Banky, Curve, Biz Finance, any, any swap, Wonderland Time which is the fork of Olympic DAO. I'll have another video about Wonderland Time. No worries. Explanation what is Olympic DAO, what is Wonderland Time, Hector DAO. So many interesting videos gonna come up so consider subscribing and clicking the bell notification button to get educated with me and we'll talk about all these kind of different interesting protocols. You can see that Wonderland Time is always uh, rising. Only in the last day the TVL was uh, accelerated by 26%, which is crazy. Adabakadaba, Ildiak. So yeah, this is basically if you want to get in depth into a certain protocol. Let's say Terra. You can see Anchor, Leader, Terra, Spark, Mirror. If it's BSC, we have of course Pancake Swap on top. Then Venus, Transchess, Mdex, Alpaca, etc. So this is looking in depth into a chain and observing their different protocols. Now, another cool thing you can see is recent uh, DeFi protocols that has been launched. You can see new, uh, again, a place if you want to take a look of to new opportunities. Again, it involves high risk because these are uh, new DeFi protocols. For example, this one was released uh, 0.2 days ago, which is around, I think, five hours, and it has TVL of $1 million. This will be, I consider this very, very high risk, and you want to do a very good due diligence before you aping into this kind of uh, token slash protocols and but another cool view you can take a look of dexes all the different dexes in terms of tvl you can see curve which is the stable coins dex on top then we have uniswap sushi swap bank swap this is across all the blockchains you can also filter by blockchain and assets lending yield insurance so basically everything that you want to know about DeFi, all the data organized very very nicely is here on DeFi Llama. So make sure to check it out if you want to learn and level up your DeFi understanding, get a broader look on the different blockchains, different protocols, DEXs, lending protocols, insurance options, indexes, staking, and they even have NFTs. This is I think something new where they see you can see basically NFT rankings across different blockchains. So this is basically NFT rankings based on collections and based on volume. So how many people are not based on TVL, but how many people are trading? What are the volumes of trading those collections? And you can see that Crypto Bull Society is the best one. Then we have Kitswa Club, Board App, 
a yacht it's not in terms of price but in terms of volume how active is this collection how many people are trading back and forth those nfts you can also filter by solana ethereum yeah so this is DeFi Llama, incredible tool. I use it all the time and I wanted to show you this out and walk through uh, the different features that, and the different uh, capabilities that it allows us to do. Let me know if you have any questions and if you like this video, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel so you will never miss another video again in the future. And also consider joining this new Discord community in using the link in the description below. Thank you so much for learning with me uh, and getting educated and mastered in DeFi and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.